Hi, welcome back to In the Studio. Today we'll, we will be discussing a place of hope and health, Yolo Crisis Nursery. With me here today is Joellen Welsh, the Vice President, and Michaela Leach, the Marketing Director. Hi. Hi, Rachel. Hi. Hi. Thank you so much for being here today. Oh, well, thanks for having us. Yeah, of course. So what is Yolo Crisis Nursery and how did it get started and when did this come about? Well, <laughs> uh, there was a social worker uh, back in early 2000 uh, named Laura Heinz. And um, she had, as a part of her job, she helped children in the foster system. And so a, um, a young man that she had been working with, or young boy since he was four, um, approached her one day and said, you know, what about my mom? Um, why hasn't anything been done to help my mom? And so you could just picture maybe a light bulb going off. Mm -hmm. <laughs> and um, that was the seed for the start of the Yolo Crisis Nursery. So uh, in 2001, we came into existence. And, um, and it's been um, through some ups and downs times um, in uh, 2014, there were certain challenges that had nothing directly to do with the nursery. And so we became our own nonprofit um, corporation. And uh, it's, it's pretty exciting because that first um, board of directors, there were five. We now have 14. Oh, wow. There's, there's, a, a, there's, a, there's a phrase <laughs> that's used commonly around the, the board table where um, at that point in time, because we were just trying to keep the lights on, we refer to it as uh, building the plane as we're flying it. And, um, like and today we feel as if we've gotten to the place where, where um, we've built that plane okay. and we're looking to at ways we can serve more families and children. Yeah. Um, so what exactly uh, do you guys do? Do you guys take, uh, like what ages of kids do you guys take and are this happening overnight? Is it a daycare? What are exactly the programs that are in place for these children? Fill in if I forget it. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> so we um, serve children zero to five. Okay. Um, and their families. And the mission of the Yolo Crisis Nursery is keeping kids safe and preserving families. That is what we do. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and so there are actually only four crisis nurseries in all of California. Oh, wow. Pretty astounding, yeah. isn't it? There's two in Sacramento County, one in Nevada County, and ours here in Yolo County. And so you can imagine that it's a very necessary um, uh, thing that we do. Mm -hmm. um, and um, so uh, we have many programs that we offer. Mm -hmm. And um, I, I guess what I'd like to do if I could is maybe tell a story about one of the families that we've helped and that will give you, and we can get into specifics if you want to. Uh, but uh, one of the stories, um, that I remember most is of a young mother who had uh, a days old infant and um, a three year old. And she recognized that she needed some help. And uh, in the middle of the night, she ended up on the doorstep of Yolo Crisis Nursery. And um, because our team is trauma informed, which is what makes us unique from the other crisis nurseries, they knew immediately that the infant was in distress and needed more help than what we could provide the infant. And so rushed the child to the hospital and literally this baby was within hours probably of not being alive anymore. Oh, wow. And it's because of this intervention, because of Yolo Crisis Nursery staff recognizing this and acting on it and knowing what to do. And so as a part of what we do also, it, it doesn't stop there. Mm -hmm. So um, it's obvious the mom needed some help and so and temporary respite. And so um, the children were 
placed into the foster care while the mother received support and services to help her with her parenting skills. And um, because our goal is to keep that family unit together, they may have to spend some time apart. Yeah. But ultimately, the goal is to have them back together. And they are. Mm -hmm. They, they, uh, she went through all of the services that we provided and um, the children were safe and um, it all has a happy ending which is what we're all about. Yeah. The happy, like the happy endings. endings. Uh-huh. Yes. Yeah, it's amazing that you guys are taking it far beyond like just the children. These services are for parents too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Which is spectacular when it's about just keeping that family close knit so yeah. everyone's together. That, that's the wrap around part. And yeah. and for me what I conjure up when I hear wrap around is just a big hug. hug yeah. Right? yeah. <laughs> and so that's what we're doing. We're mm -hmm. hugging not just the children. But the, but, families. but the families, yeah. that's, that is crucial to us, absolutely. And if I can just jump in too, the, the critical part about these wraparound services is it's breaking the cycle. A lot of the people who we see and the families who we see, um, this has been a generational parenting and, and family issue. And the goal here is to help break the cycle um, where we're helping to build stronger families and stronger children so that it's not only just bettering a family or a child's life, but it's improving our community overall. And, and that's supported statistically. Mm -hmm. uh, there are studies out there about early intervention services for children, specifically between zero and five, and how helping them, providing them and the family services um, downstream or upstream will help them downstream. Mm -hmm. And it ends up perhaps um, stopping that cycle. And uh, for those people who think of it in a, a fiscal sense, um, for these children and families to go without help, they're, they continue at risk. And they're, they're more likely than not going to be later problems that end up being um, uh, a burden to um, I guess we'd say taxpayers. Mm -hmm. yeah. And so there's there's this fiscal part, which isn't our concern. No. We're concerned yeah. about the kids, but I know that there are other people out there who pay attention to those sorts of things. Yeah, definitely. Mm -hmm. Around how many families do you guys serve a year? Is there like a rough estimate? Well, last year, our last fiscal year, which runs um, June 30th to July uh, 1st, so we're just about to close up this year, we helped 321 families. That is almost oh. a new family every day, which is remarkable thinking that these caseworkers um, and our nursery staff and team can handle so many children because there are families with multiple um, children in there. So um, just an astounding figure and such a tribute to um, our executive director, Heather, and her team. They do a phenomenal job. Um, but yes, 321 families in Yolo County. And unfortunately... We don't, um, we're, we're not able to get to all the children. Um, the problem in Yolo County in California is really large. The CDC estimates that one in four um, children will experience abuse or neglect in their lifetime. Um, and California has some of the highest um, rates in the country mm -hmm. and Yolo County also has um, high rates within the state um, for abuse and neglect. So the problem's real here. Um, there's a lot of need and we're just hoping that we can continue our growth um, by double digits every year to try and help as many children and families as we can. And, and sort of piggybacking on this, it absolutely, Heather will report uh, occasionally that they're at capacity, but that doesn't mean that she turns people away. Not on Heather's True. watch, <laughs> right? She's not on her sense. watch. I, I'm telling you that Heather, if there's any term that applies to Heather, it's we'll figure it out. I saw you guys also do care packages and mm -hmm. things like that. Oh, yeah. um, could you speak a little bit about that or different other services that you guys do? Well, we not only, we rely obviously on, on monetary donations in order to pay our electric bills and and Keep our the caregivers. Doors. And our caregivers, exactly. <laughs> and, and we do have volunteers. But then um, we also receive donations, uh, new and gently used uh, clothing items for children this age, and also um, toys mm -hmm. and diapers. One of our 
Diapers, one of our, formula. Yes, <laughs> all, all of the above, anything mm -hmm. that can be used to help. And we put those care packages together. Right. And, and a parent in need can mm -hmm. just call and say, this is what I need. And you'll see them there, you know, stacked up by the door, ready to go with people's names on them. It's no questions asked. There's no forms to be filled out. It is easy for the parents to get what they need to care for their children. Um, and it's, of course, free, free of charge. Yep. Yeah. That is amazing. Um, what are, so are the main goals for the children? Is it, do you feel like that there's a big impact when they leave that they know that they feel safer and they feel better in their, like in their homes and things like that? I, I know that they do. Yeah. Um, and um, one of the ways that I know this is actually one of our newest programs. Um, it's called ABC. Let me get if I get, get this uh, correct. I have to get my um, <laughs> ABC. Um, oh my goodness. Attachment, Att attachment and biobehavioral catch up mm -hmm. is what it's referred to, which is sort of a fancy way of saying that um, children who sort of are at a higher risk for behavior uh, and emotional problems um, um, express themselves differently. And so um, this, with this program, um, our staff goes into the family home and actually works with the family. Wow. And they are allowed, it's, it's 10 sessions which are videotaped and it's all about positive feedback. It is uh, working with the parents, working with the children, because uh, as you can imagine, parents can get pretty frustrated and, mm -hmm. and it's, it's challenging, especially with a child that uh, might somehow be out of control and they're, they're just you know sort of at their wits end, but we go in and we actually work with them in their environment uh, for 10 weeks and um, and then at the end of that 10 weeks, um, they're given a gift. And, and part of the gift is the videotape. And the videotape is used with each session. They'll roll it back and, and make their, uh, give the positive feedback. And then at the end, they get that tape too. Oh, wow. so they can and, on it. and so, yeah. and there is marked differences. And mm -hmm. it's because these children are feeling better. And um, it's and lastly, the parents are feeling better exactly too, from what we've heard. Parents are feeling better, <laughs> yeah. absolutely. And so we have that proof um, uh, because people have made it through the program successfully. So, yeah, we have some wonderful examples we could cite you, yeah. but we don't have long enough. Here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> yeah. Um, I before we end, I wanted to talk about your cards that you're doing for oh, Mother's Day's past. But if you can talk about how people can do that and um, just speak a bit about the Father's Day cards. Sure. I know so, we have some um, on the table. We have some here on the table. We have These a visual are, too that they're um, Okay, that you can post. Um, this is actual, uh, on the cover of the card, it's an actual um, painting that we have hanging in our preschool room at the nursery. <laughs> and it is from one of um, the students or children, which chokes me up every time I, I yeah. think about that. Um, and just this sweet, simple message, thank you for helping me grow. Um, and then on the inside of the card, it says, with thoughts of you, a donation has been made in your honor to the Yolo Crisis Nursery. This gift will help protect children of Yolo County and preserve their families. So a very simple, um, simple message um, that can be used for really any purpose. It's excellent for Mother's Day or Father's Day, especially since you're thanking a parent yeah. or a parent-like figure for, to help you grow. Um, it's also great for graduations or and any sort of other um, celebration. celebration um, where you can note it where you're giving forward and you're kind of paying back, I guess, to those who have helped you. Um, because the donation that you make will be made in honor of um, the person that you name. So, and that can be done via our website, mm -hmm. www.yellowcrisisnursery.org slash cards. Okay, well, we have to wrap up, unfortunately, <laughs> okay. but it was great having you guys here today and learning about this beautiful organization that has grown. So well, thank, thank you, you both for, for coming us. and be sure for everyone to check out their website. Okay, thank you. Perfect, thank, thank you. Thank you. This was in the studio. Thank you.